She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Oh. Kept seeing his name. I didn't know where he was. It's so weird, isn't it? How, like, that's just a couple. And then there's somebody's parents. And then there's somebody's grandparents. It's like, that could be any of us. And that's gonna be all of us. If we're lucky. <laughs> wow, this kid's even got a fire pole. It's cool as heck. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Lewis was born a year later. <sighs> when my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. I don't know if I'm supposed to go back down with the fire pole or what. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. I guess I am. I don't want to skip a key. Oh, never mind. They put a thing in the way. Oh, no, they didn't. I had a feeling this was probably just drop back down. And it is. All right. Well, cool animation, but I guess we'll go back up now. having a mild existential crisis yeah i can relate i pretty much have those every day anyway but yeah this this will set you off i oh, can't go down and to see kids in the house again I guess what I was saying with that thing about the photos, it's like we think of life as such an edifying monolithic thing that's always out in front of us until it isn't. <clears throat> you see stories like this of, you know, young people, middle-aged people, old people, everybody's all dying. I think we, we all think we're far too invincible sometimes. The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. And for a while, things were good. Almost normal. Owls. But it didn't last. Oh. They're learning the scientific method. That's got to be good. And there's owls. And a really pretty view. I get now why they used owls for little kids stuff. Because you, you always want to listen to an owl. You know what's up. Who is rules, okay? The beginning of the end was Milton's 10th birthday. When Edie gave him a castle. Got to have a castle? With a sick ass doormat? With a mustache and a crown? I swear half of being royal is just having a cool mustache. That's why it's never like. Little kids can't be royal because they don't know what it is to own a mustache. <clears throat> oh, there's pots there. We've got an engineer, apparently. Oh, these are great.
That's a lot of talent. I think Edie was happy to finally have another painter in the family. Whose place was this? I think I missed that already. Milton. That's that's really good. Actually, it looks a bit like Lynn's work. Milton Finch in the Magic Paintbrush. <laughs> cool. Oh. <laughs> a flipbook within a flipbook. This animation reminds me a little bit of like Professor Layton. That's great. went in a hole. I guess. Alright, maybe he's still alive? Mom's Milton went into Search our and world. Then she sealed the doors. Hmm. But he did this, too? Like a multi-talented artist. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. Oh, I didn't look at this. No. Didn't do anything. Can somebody mod the game so that's just a picture of Dan Giesling at the top? I would like that. You have to install the Dan Giesling mod before you start it. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room. Until mom got him a job at the cannery. What a view. I've said it a hundred times, but what a fucking cool house. <laughs> the whimsy knows no bounds. Um, I don't know if I want to go in there yet. Let's to the right first. Oh. <laughs> Not a whole lot, as it turns out. Gotcha. Alright, well, can't go the normal way anyway. Lewis's room smelled very... Very familiar. That part of him lived on. <sighs> hmm. I wonder what the implication is here. Oh! Marijuana! <laughs> okay. Gotcha. Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. 
Whoa. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his oh. daily life. Oh, right. Fish. Yeah. That's, kept working at the that's a hell of a job. All right. Cut the head. But he withdrew slide it down. Cut the head. In our sessions, I saw the down. same behavior. His mind began to... I hate that guillotine. What is his... What is that a picture of? Wonder. Oh. It's... Oh, I'm a little wizard I asked him man. To describe it. Okay, play a game while Since playing another game. Small. I can do this. Imagining a labyrinth. Yes. I am very multi-talented, just like that artist it and engineer. Two things at once. Go, go, get, get the fish out. Then something moves. Bats. What? Bats. Uh-oh. Toads? toads? Where they be? And things that have not names. He knew it was all in his head. Head. Cut. But he took it very seriously. I had hoped he'd find himself. Now he's wandered into the darkness of marijuana addiction. Ah! No, you go there. Where is my wizard? I've lost my wizard. Maybe that's even worse that I don't have a wizard anymore. Oh! What? What am I looking at? Okay. I missed. Oh. What? <laughs> what happened to my wizard? I'm still taking the fish. Uh-oh. I guess I broke it. Reload. Uh... Don't save, though? What did I do wrong? I just walked. I didn't know I walked in a, a wrong way. <laughs> I just saw the wizard start to walk extra fast, and then he, his robe kind of crumpled. Seemed a little off. I hate when I lose my wizard. Lewis's room smelled very... Very familiar. Dank. That part of him lived. You on. can just say dank. Lewis played StarCraft 2 until 1 a.m., even on weeknights, and thought about demons and heavy metal. Or ska. Actually, probably ska. Alright, let's go back to the cannery. Dear Mrs. Finch. As Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, it's a hell of a shot Lewis to come in on, isn't it? The monotony of his daily life. Let's count fish. Two. Kept working at the cannery. Three. But he withdrew part of himself. Four. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. 
Holmes. His mind began Wizard. To wander. I asked him to describe it. Zex. He said he started small. Imagining a labyrinth. Zeven. He'd feel his way about. Then something moved. Oct. Bats. And toads. Noin. Sane. And things that have not names. Elf. He knew it was all in his Oh. Right scene. Fifth scene. Fourth scene. Find himself. Sixth scene. Oh, I didn't see this part before. Deep scene. I found the dankest ass bowl. Oxine. I worried about him then. Oh. No insane. Daydreaming at the cannery. I spoke with his boss. Swanfish. He said Lewis had become a model employee. Okay, we're gonna stop counting now. It's probably pretty annoying. Tireless, focused. Like a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. Oh, that's how we get to the island. I even encouraged him. Give me fish. It seemed very promising at first. He told me he'd made a new friend. Dog friend! Hang with me, dog friend. You don't even need to know about my fish habit. On the habit. edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. That's sort of unoriginal, to be honest. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Brick City. Then oh, that's that like castle game. Castle story. Where you get these little weird guys, they like come and grab bricks and they build castles one brick at a time. Never happened in that game. Songs for them to play. Do, do, do fish songs. Fighter of the crab band. songs. But he had no inspiration because he, he had no dank ass push. His imagination grew stronger. Oh, no, the fish is all different. Parts no now. Spoke at the cannery. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Until one day. Then one day it struck yeah. him. No. That all the cheering crowds. Oh, okay. Even the stones under his feet. We're entirely in his imagination. We're all in his imagination. Yep. So he could do whatever he wished. He held an election for mayor. Why? Just be mayor. And he won. Oh, Mario reference. They begged him <laughs> to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. Fish game. Boop. Fish game. Boop. Oh, we're, we're boating. He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. Conquer that city. Yep. You Lewis. Done that. Check out this city up here. We're going to conquer the shit out of this one, too. Done. St. Louis. He started drifting away from our area. Like Saint happening. Well, he's drifting where the current takes him. Nothing wrong with that. Minneapolis. Minneapolis. Until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. <laughs> Whoops. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. Where's the fish? Give more fish. In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a... Oh, a handsome queen. I love those. Handsome queen. Made out of 
paint stippling. I'm gonna sail right through her face. That'll teach her. Oh. The queen was on her own quest for sinister serpents. She loves serpents. She wants to slay them. Slay those sinister, sinister serpents. serpents. Uh oh. He followed the sound of her. Electric sitar. No, she's a silver harp lady for sure. They're both good though. Silver harp. Free D D. Free D D. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Even then, his logic remained sound. Are you the handsome lady? He knew the world was all in his Oh, too many fish! I double chopped that one into hell. Man, this game goes in all different directions. Created it. Cut it. Cut it. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. I feel like this entire game could have the entire game of brothers in it also. <laughs> For someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. Did he just get really into Asheron's call or EverQuest? The one chopping sand, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. Hello. My Hi. imagination is as real as my body, he told me. Ah, the Matrix. It was hard to argue with him. What? Oh, I'm still in the cannery. Cool freaking door, though. He puts stickers on everything. Oh, that's like his... It's like a 2DS, I guess. It's like a Game Boy Micro, but like Game Boy Macro. And he's, of course, got his bowl. <laughs> Can't go to work without my trusty bowl. Oh. Are we... I guess we're playing Dishonored now. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. Yep, welcome back to Dunwall. He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. What up? Yeah, you're not moving anything, buddy. There's supposed to be like a fish in your hand or I still thought I could save him. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. Lands of wonder, all the people in attendance are just fish with heads the cut palace off. Alice would be packed with his companions. What a weird transition this is. Something's gonna chop, right? And then all their heads are gonna fall off at the same time. Including the wise calico who'd insisted on advising. The wise calico? Oh, kitten. He's nodding his head. It's Molly. You're so big. Oh. <laughs> this 
is so silly. But it's also really his dark. Waited, holding his crown. Oh, only one thing yeah, left I see the guillotine. Did he cut his own goddamn head off at the end of this story? This is too personal for me. And the rest I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. I have like a personal paranoia about being decapitated. I don't like that very much. My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. Well, all right. Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. Yeah, it's the family curse, you know? He'd love Super Meat Boy. You can die a lot in that. On the way back from Lewis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. I wish we'd stayed. A good sound. And they're popping a little bit, like, popping but I bubble wrap, but left. that's okay. My mom ended up leaving everything behind. This is PC for the person who just asked. Um, it's almost always PC unless... I mention it, at least with my channel in particular. What happened that night had been coming for a long time. Maybe it should have come sooner. Oh, is it origami? It's cute. But it had to end one way or another. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. Uh, that creeps me out. Last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last... I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. Mm, I'm not naive. I think I understand. The power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom sailed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. 
or that Edie had a key to it. Man, they have a lot of books. The thing you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay. Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you. Only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. It was oh, the creepy. first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out <coughs> in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. You know, I've seen that house every day of my life. Yeah, they always say walking into the ocean when the tide goes out is like a death trap. People used to do that and they'd see cool shells and they'd be like, oh, it's time to go collect. Go back to it. And then tide comes back in all of a sudden. When the fog rolled lost my way I got turned around I mean I actually knew where I was still going but then they put me in front of a rock for a while I wandered Seeing things. Oh, they had one of those in Harry Potter. It's your spirit things animal. I'd forgotten had ever existed. A bed. But when I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. Oh, literal things well, that were in the house. I came back to them. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and... Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it! Let go! Let me read the screen, book. Mom dragged me to the car. I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. Oh. The next morning, the band came to pick her up, but she was already gone. Yeah, I had a feeling. And she said, I'm not leaving. That, we moved around a lot. We both tried to make the best of it. A family that loses people so regularly, they don't a seem to go through a lot of by. precautions. Oh, that's weird. That's really pretty, too. My mom didn't like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. The rest happened pretty quickly. She got better for a while, and then she didn't. And then I was alone. The 
last finch left alive. Until I found out about you. Oh, we're playing as an unborn child I'm now. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. And appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. Oh, I think we're about to be this born. This was supposed to be for you. But now I hope you'll never see it. I just want to meet you and tell you all these stories myself. But I guess if you're reading this now, things didn't work out that way. She died in childbirth, didn't she? This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask. But I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. goodness. How do I keep picking these games that make me cry every single time? Yeah, that was a really fantastic game, yeah. Did I not see all of the stories, though? I thought I missed one, at least. Wasn't there... We never saw a story for Sanjay. Oh, there's no stories for people who married into the family. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, that was really good. It was like, it was a lot more subtle than I thought it was going to be for that first story being so over-the-top whimsical. Oh, man. I'm glad it didn't have that tone, like, for the whole game. Like, the super serious tone. But I'm also glad that it did when it did. And it paced itself really well, having a few breaks, approaching some things sort of lightly, other things a bit more directly. And all in all, just really, really well done. Very impressive. <clears throat> oh...
I didn't think they'd be able to tell so many stories and have it still stay interesting. When I saw how many faces there were on that family tree or how many names, I just figured it, I don't know, it would just lose, lose traction, lose pacing, something. Yeah, top tier. That was definitely up there for, for game of the year. I didn't even know. I don't know what I would have changed, if anything. Probably nearly nothing. Maybe just a few more interaction points throughout the house. But that's about it. And then it puts everybody on the title screen. <laughs> <laughs> 